If you think all AI image generators are basically the same, you're wrong. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tool is best for your project, whether that's a lifelike photo, a poster with text, or a wild fantasy scene. I'll give you real prompts you can test yourself so you'll see the difference firsthand. Let's start with what's new. Midjourney has released version 7. This update has made the images look sharper, more detailed, and closer to real photography. It's also faster and even experimenting with video, although that part is still early. On the other side, OpenAI has changed how image generation works in ChatGPT. It no longer uses DALLE3 directly. Instead, it now has its own model called GPT Image One, built right into ChatGPT. That means the same system that understands your text also makes the picture. That's a big deal because it reduces the disconnect between what you type and what you actually get. So the real comparison is Midjourney version 7 against ChatGPT with GPT Image 1. To keep this fair, I tested these generators in the same way. For Midjourney, I left personalization turned off and used default settings. For ChatGPT, I stayed within the aspect ratios it allows, like 3x2 or 2x3, which is close to Midjourney's defaults. Midjourney gives you four images each time you prompt, while ChatGPT usually gives fewer. I worked with whatever they provided and also kept an eye on how long it took. Midjourney tends to be faster. ChatGPT makes you wait longer, but promises more accuracy. Now, let's look at the first big category, portraits and realism. This is where most people start, so it's a good test. When I asked both tools to create a portrait of a young woman in natural daylight, soft focus, realistic skin texture, Midjourney version 7 produced very lifelike results. The skin had pores, the shadows were smooth, and the lighting looked like it came from an actual camera. ChatGPT with GPT, Image 1 also did well, but sometimes the colors were a bit too warm, like the person had been sitting in the sun for too long, or the skin looked extra saturated. This doesn't ruin the image, but it means you might have to edit it later. If you want something straight out of the box that looks like a professional headshot, Midjourney version 7 has the edge here. But realism isn't everything. A big test for any AI is how well it listens to your instructions. So, I gave both tools this prompt. A child wearing a bright red hat, holding exactly three apples, standing on blue steps, daytime lighting. Midjourney version 7 gave me gorgeous images, but sometimes the details were off. One picture had four apples, another had the right number, but the steps weren't blue. ChatGPT's model was slower, uh, but it stuck closer to the script. When I said three apples, it tried to give me three apples. When I said red hat, it put on a red hat. This is important if you're working on something like an ad where every detail matters. Midjourney feels like a creative artist who adds their own flair, while ChatGPT feels like a careful assistant who checks off the list. Hands have always been the running joke with AI art. To test this, I used the prompt, a man holding up three fingers on one hand. Midjourney made beautiful pictures, but often gave me too many or too few fingers. ChatGPT did a better job keeping it at three. It's not perfect, but the progress here is real. For anything that involves counting, shapes, or logic, ChatGPT's image model is more trustworthy. Another test was about text. A lot of people need AI to make posters, ads, or graphics with words on them. For this, I typed, a poster that says Summer Music Festival 2025 with a guitar and palm trees in the background. ChatGPT's GPT Image One could actually spell the words clearly. Midjourney version 7, on the other hand, still produced letters that looked like gibberish or alien writing. It looks cool from far away, but useless if you actually need readable text. 
So if your project needs logos, labels, or posters, ChatGPT is the obvious winner. Next, I tested layouts and compositions. I asked for five people sitting around a round table with a cat sleeping under the chair. This type of prompt tests spatial accuracy. ChatGPT was better at keeping the five people actually seated around the table and putting the cat in the right spot. Midjourney made amazing looking scenes, but sometimes the number of people was wrong or the cat disappeared or the table wasn't round. The results are still beautiful, but not always what you asked for. Crowds and faces are another common challenge. I tested with a crowd of 20 people at a birthday party, everyone smiling, balloons in the background. ChatGPT made cleaner groups of people with more consistent faces. Midjourney gave me dramatic party scenes, but when I zoomed in, some faces looked odd like they were melting or blending into each other. If you need many characters or want the same character to appear consistently across different images, ChatGPT has the advantage today. Midjourney has tools in progress for character references, but they're still not as reliable. Now let's talk about creativity and style. Here, Midjourney is still the king. I gave both tools the prompt a surreal dreamscape with floating islands, glowing waterfalls, and purple skies. Midjourney version 7 produced striking, imaginative results with strong mood and atmosphere. The colors popped, the lighting was dramatic, and the vibe was artistic. ChatGPT's outputs were good, but more restrained. If your goal is concept art, fantasy, or anything abstract, Midjourney feels more inspiring. Speed matters too, especially if you're brainstorming ideas. Midjourney version 7 is faster and has modes like draft mode that let you try many variations quickly. ChatGPT makes you wait longer, though what you get is usually closer to the instructions. So if you're in a hurry and want to explore lots of styles, Midjourney feels more practical. If you need precision and don't mind waiting, ChatGPT might have the upper hand. So overall, should you go for ChatGPT or Midjourney? If you want photorealism, strong style, and creative energy, Midjourney V7 is your tool. If you want accurate details, correct text, clean crowds, and character consistency, ChatGPT with GPT, Image One is the winner. Here's a challenge for you to try out. Open Midjourney version 7 and ChatGPT side by side. Use the exact same prompts I shared today. Try the portrait prompt, the red hat and apples prompt, the text poster prompt, the crowded birthday prompt, and the dreamscape prompt. Compare them for yourself. You'll immediately see how each tool handles the same instructions. Have you tried Midjourney and ChatGPT to create images? What are your thoughts on which is better? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, check the description for some helpful resources that I've linked and don't forget to like and subscribe.